This mission is a simple in and out. Agent Valerian, you'll be running solo. I only work with my partner. Hi. We're a team. Let's go. Extraída de la mente del gran director francés de quien hemos visto cintas como El Quinto Elemento, Nikita y Lucy, con la hermosa Scarlett Johansson, Luc Besson trae a la pantalla grande Valerian y la ciudad de los mil planetas. Una historia basada en una serie de libros de historietas publicados en 1967 con el nombre de Valerian and Loreline y del cual Besson se confiesa fiel seguidor. Es más, algunos personajes de esta historieta sirvieron de inspiración para crear el universo de El Quinto Elemento. Sin embargo, los miles de seres y planetas a recrear convertían este proyecto en algo bastante complejo de crear para la pantalla grande. No obstante, el avance de la tecnología en cuanto a imágenes generadas por computadora y captura de movimiento hicieron que Besson se diera cuenta que el momento de realizar su gran sueño había llegado. Welcome to Alpha. The city of a thousand planets. I always remember when, when I was in my early 20s, I was at a cinema close by to my house and I just walked in up by myself and I just found the fifth element for the very first time and blow my mind. How do you feel the changing of the movie industry and especially the changing of technology through the years? Well, the movie industry changed a lot since then. It, it became more and more uh, business oriented and it's very difficult. I, I consider myself as, as a painter or as an artist. Mm. And I, I have to fight more for my freedom, you know, to be able to not think too much about rentability or things and, and, and just create something who will blow your mind, you know, if you're 20 years old, like mm -hmm. you were at the time of Fifth Element, okay. now, now you, you're grown up, so you, you have seen too many films, but uh, <laughs> I'm thinking about this young audience, 10, 15, 20, mm who discover films and I, I really want to propose something fresh where it's really different. So we far from the American blockbuster superhero uh, type of film. Mm. First, because they know how to do it very good. And second, there's so many of them that <laughs> I, I don't want to do just one more. So mm. this one is really an entire different proposition more in the vein of, of the fifth element or brazil or or avatar you know mm. like something way much more i want the people to get in the story and to forget everything for two hours you want to avoid this cara de levin interpreta lori line mientras que Dane Dehan es Valerian. Ambos forman un equipo de agentes especiales encargados de mantener el orden en todos los territorios humanos de un universo que trasciende a la imaginación en el año 2740. Es así que ambos agentes embarcan en una misión hacia la ciudad Alfa, lugar en el que una fuerza oscura amenaza la pacífica existencia de sus mil planetas. Los agentes tendrán que descubrir qué clase de peligro corre Alfa y salvaguardar la integridad no solo de esta metrópoli, sino de todo el universo. Siendo un proyecto tan personal del director, Luc Besson era evidente que se involucraría en todos los aspectos del film, desde la creación de los personajes hasta el diseño de cada ciudad que forma Alfa. Also, I really enjoy your work because I'm a producer too, and I, I, I like to be attached in every single part of the creative process. How is your, your creative process in general? I'm everywhere, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm not like a, I'm not imposing anything. What I love is to rebound. Mm. You know, I work with a lot of creative people who make a lot of drawings, the costume, the set design, and they all come, the props, they come with ideas. And I say, oh, you know, I like, I like the beginning of it, but maybe the end could be more like this. And we rebound. It's a creative process and exchange with all these guys. And there's 2,000 people who works on the film. But I let the freedom, I let the, especially the designers, I really let them to come. They work for a year without the script, just by exploring, go crazy. creating, yeah, <laughs> go crazy. And they come back with 6,000 drawings. <laughs> and then I'm after I start to choose, you know, what some drawings were like nuts. Okay. Like you, you can't even film it. Okay. You, you're almost like ready to call police and say you, you have to put this guy in jail because yeah. this, this is insane. He's a dangerous guy. Yeah. But, uh, and then one captain on board that has to decide where where to go. So mm -hmm. 
I did my job of, uh, as a good captain to try to, mm -hmm. to set up the thing. Aunque Valerian está poblada de miles de especies alienígenas, la película también cuenta con un contingente humano importante, entre ellos la cantante Riada, quien interpreta a Bubble, personaje camaleónico que además de hacerla vestir un traje de captura de movimiento, la obligó a pasar por varios cambios de maquillaje y peinados. Por otro lado, a pesar de contar con escenarios en croma y elementos digitales, Besson apeló también a crear varios sets prácticos, haciendo un uso balanceado entre lo real y lo digital. How do you combine, you know, the CGI elements with the practical elements? Every shot mm -hmm. is different. So some shots are pure CGI. Some sometimes it's half of it. Sometimes it's mechanical. Sometimes it's a bit of CGI and mechanical. So you have every shot is one problem that you have to resolve mm. and to find the best solution to to make it work. I give you an example. Mm. When a character is pure CGI, sometimes in the movement I feel the CGI. I feel the the computer oriented movement. So when I have an alien for example, I take an actor and I put pieces of the costume. So now the guy on the CGI, he has to follow what exists. So he cannot, he <laughs> cannot do the movement he wants. He has to do the movement that the actor made. Mm. And that's changed the movement. It makes it much more human, in fact. Si eres un seguidor de la fantasía y lo visual es alimento para tus ojos, no debes perderte esta aventura intergaláctica. Valerian y la ciudad de los mil planetas esperan por ti.